This is a 2024 Coachman Euro 25 EU at the 2024 FRVT Florida Super Show in Tampa. And this is a new model this year for Coachman. Uh, and you can see right here, this is very European and looking here. Got an power awning, armless awning. And here's some of the storage bays right here. It's a nice long storage bay. Uh, it's not pass through. And here's a nice little bay here. Looks like your Xantrans inverters in there too. There's your propane twit connect here. So it does have propane here. And looks like that's one of your holding tanks here. And here's your hydraulic leveling system. Here's a view of the rear here. LED lights and a rear window. Let's go inside and see what it's like in there. Can I stand it? All right, here we go. The front door is your main shutoff switch, some light switches here. And here we have some air conditioning controls. And we'll just try to turn off the fan here so we don't have a lot of noise. There we go, a lot quieter in here. Have Aurora otherwise. Well, wow. it's Marie, yeah. as if we didn't know. <laughs> And it's amazing. This coach has some neat little things I think that Ben's going to like to play with. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Why don't you go up and do the front here? I'm still investigating. All right. So, well, uh, here. What's, what's... Why don't you do the front there and uh, we'll walk well, through it together. I have not been all the way through this yet. I, I know that Marie's not going to like the step up right here. Right. Uh, it does have but a step up. here's to your health. All right. Well, here we have a front. We actually have a really nice display here. This is actually looked at a 12-inch display. The below are the HVAC controls. Here we have the usual auxiliary start, generator start, fog lights, radio, etc. Our automatic leveling controls are here. And I believe this is probably, I think, the GPS display. It doesn't have, has an analog display here. And here's our mirror controls and headlights. Now, it's interesting that this actually has a, a little desk. And it notice the chairs both do swivel. Yes, they do. Now, does this have an overhead bunch, or I don't think it has an overhead bunch. It does not, to the best of my right. knowledge. Well, now Marie's going to take over, uh, and let's see. Okay. What else about the coach? Here? Well, okay. Interesting enough, there's two bucket seats here, almost like in a car or a van. Okay. I do not believe they move. Are they comfortable? They're fairly comfortable. Um, if you're a big person, it might be a little harder. They have drawers underneath for storage, as you can see. So that's nice. It comes with a nice table that's actually kind of maneuverable. The table also twists, the whole bar will twist. So if you want to play cards or something across the way, you can do that. Or you can put it out of the way. So a lot of different uses. And you can also uh, take it down if you, if you wish, if it's in the way. You also over here, I'm going to go back and forth here, obviously. Over here, you do have a pull-out bed. Now, is this a jackknife sofa, you think? I believe so. Okay. It is. Now, the window curtains, or curtains, if you want to call them that, are really very interesting. I'll show you the one in the kitchen here, because this one's kind of hard, and I'll break my fingernails. Can't well, have I, that. I think they, uh, yeah, I know what they do. I just, they there you like go. That. Thank they you. Basically yes, but it was all the way down. I couldn't either go black, or they go right. day, or all the way. Day or night, right. You get a great cabinet here. It's passed through and two doors. Right. And also where I was just sitting, you also have the TV set right across from the couch here. And you see the sitting position is actually very optimal, though you have to probably tilt your head just a little bit. And of course, when you're watching the TV, if you want, you have a little of your night shade down so you don't get interference from the sun. Right. Now here in the kitchen, you got plenty of storage. Look at that. That's, That's a nice storage tall. area like for your dishes. I like the way they're tall. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a European appearance. Right. You have a hood for your stove. Well, you look, there's see. also a little lip here. Uh huh. So you can put some stuff in here. Interesting, it does come spices up. And I don't want to glue that down. Yeah, but this is good for your spices and such right down here so that you can easily get them and use your induction top stove, put them right back. Here's something you don't see a lot induction, the uh, stove top rather than a microwave up here. Well, is there any, any people up there? You never heard of boys in the hood? Yes, I have. Anyway, you can see the lights on. You have your time right in there. You have a nice counter space. You got your power. And you have your sink. And, of course, it does have closures to make more counter space. It should note that the Tower of Power actually has two USB ports, too. Okay. Now, I, this drawer here 
It has a little space here for spices, but you also have a drawer here, which is really kind of interesting. And it's a little, these, these drawers are, are so new, they're just really a little tough to open. Well, you, you have the impression it opens wide this way, but it actually pulls out. Right, and I'm going to show you something else in just a moment. Anyway, you've got spaces cut out for garbage cans. And look at here, your cleaning supplies, so you can literally pick them up and take them where you want to go. So they can be nightly uh, organized and compartmentalized. That's pretty nice. Now we have uh, three drawers here. And just for the fun of it, folks, I'm going to let Ben open the drawers. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, you figured it out. Okay. Yes, these actually have little buttons right here. No, no, no. The button. No, but Press stuck. the button. Okay, it was stuck. And it comes out. All right, see? Isn't that cool? So you don't catch yourself on them. They, they're nice and flat. Well, it's, you press it and it pops out. It's a positive lock to keep you from... Uh, Right. From popping out during travel. Now we have one more drawer on the side. We do have a drawer down here. And we have the microwave, which for me, after I, using it several times, I think my, my, my back would go crazy. Yeah, that's I, I don't like that. I agree. It would be very low. I'd have to, let's see, if you want to get your dish, you have to get down here, pick it up. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Well, before we move on to the, the uh, refrigerator, there is one large bin over the door. Okay, we do have a refrigerator right here. And the lock is underneath. Let's see if she figures how to open it, right? <laughs> I already did. <laughs> already did. Hey, look, these are probably the coolest instructions I've ever seen. <laughs> there you go. And you also have a freezer with two drawers there. And also, looks like your toilet roll holder is here, too. Okay, talk about being cold in the bathroom. Okay, over on, well, let's go down to this side. side here. Again, push the button, pull open the door, and you have your wardrobe. And right below that, we have an access door. <laughs> an access door. And this is the clip that keeps it on. I guess I pulled it a little too hard. This is one of the folks about these uh, new coaches. Sometimes you have to. There we go. And so, lock that's, it up. so that's an access door. It's not broken. It's just uh, an access door. And again, push the buttons, and we'll see what we got over here. There we go. So over here, we got. Uh, Possibly a pantry use here. Broom closet, more like it. Broom closet. I don't know. You can get a broom handle in there unless it's a full-up well, it one. No, it has no shot. I mean, as you could technically convert this to a, put a bar up top and convert it to a very narrow closet. I'd probably put shelves in it. Quite frankly. I think it's kind of tall. Unless it has a shelf. It had a shelf that you use for a pantry. It'd be more useful, yeah. There is a wardrobe bar in here. And then below here. And something you don't generally see in lower price. I'm not sure if this is gas or diesel, but... Um, you don't know. I don't know. But I'm sure people will tell us in the comments below. If not, we'll make sure in the description to uh, specify that. Okay. We have a bathroom here, kind of on the corner. It does have a corner ca medicine cabinet. And you also have a lighted mirror, which is really nice. You have a lovely sink with two shelves here on the side, and you also have another push in to open it, some space underneath the sink. Now, what about how's the business position here? Okay. Well, it works. It works. It's a little short, but it works. All right, well, let's try the shower real quick. Yeah, let's see how the shower does. Uh, well, um, I'll try, but I have a feeling I'm not going to fit in here very good. Okay, there we well, go. Well, um, for tall people anyway, this is about a 4 out of 10. Uh, mainly because I'm literally glued in place. I can't move because my head's pressed against the skylight. And of course, this... Ah! <laughs> I just got doused by Where I something. Any freeze, whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, okay. Watch out. There's more in that bag over your head. They got a I'm bag not on. happy that I got wet reviewing a shower. <laughs> Oh, it is, folks. The things I do to bring content to you guys. The okay. things that we actually, do. Actually, for most people, this shower would be sufficient. I'll uh, step in here and let you see. Yeah, she, she deserves to get wet, too, folks. Oh, don't you come near with these nozzles. <laughs> Stay away. So it is sufficient. It is a little tight, but it is sufficient. Um, you know, I I'm, my BMI is normal, but on the higher side of normal. But uh, I'm going to say that... Uh, 
some people might have to stand sideways to shower, quite uh, frankly. I like the way you put that, the higher side of normal. Well, there's a BMI, there's a range. I'm on the higher end of the range. I am in the normal range. All right, well. Now that's body weight, not, not, not mentally, folks. Yes, yeah, so I know. I should, say, I should say differently. <laughs> I figured you were going to say something, so I figured I beat you to the punch. All right. All well. right, let's check out this bathroom, our bedroom. It's a king size bed. Looks like there's three cabinets over top. I will step up on my side. You I have step a step up, up on my side also, which I don't like because at night I would guarantee you I'd fall. But look at this, folks. This is kind of funny. I am standing on a step up. Okay, you can see where my head is. Just imagine if Ben was on there. I don't even want to imagine that. Yes, anyway, it's a pass through, but there is a little ledge inside each uh, cabinet. There's three of them. A lot of space, though. A lot of space. Very nicely made. I like the hinges. They're very good. And as now, you see, the day and night shades, the same type are here. Right, right. These are TVs the same. TV's in the corner. And we step down here. I do not see any, uh, any plugs unless they're underneath. Yes, the plugs and the outlet and your phone connections are on the bedside. Yes, on each side the outlet, as she said, and on USB connections. I hope, it, I hope at some point everybody gets to get them where it's more convenient, at least on your end table. It's very hard as you get older to climb down there and crawl down there. And, and this then, is actually a king bed, right. looks like. But see, it's, it actually has a decent amount of space, at least halfway uh, for getting in there. But trying to make the bed, I imagine that might be pretty difficult. Uh, well, you got to step up on the thing, and then you got to remember to get down to get the bottom end and up and down. <coughs> I, you know, I, I like the design, but I, I don't, people know, I don't like steps. And so that would be particularly hard for me because I would have to be going up and down. Up, you know, okay, let's fluff the pillow. Let's go down. Up, let's pull up the comforter. Up and reach and down. But it's a nice coach overall. And, you know, if you uh, have good mobility skills and you're good with that, have a good back, you should be good. And, and the TV set is right here by me. And uh, it's really actually a nice coach. I like the, uh, the buttons, push in and push out, because you won't catch your clothes or you won't snag your leg on them. So, and it keeps the door locked while you're traveling. So, good feature there. And this, the cabinets themselves are very spacious. Well, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you could, please. It would really help our channel to grow more. And we want to ask you to remember to always open the door to adventures. And start all your trees with the RVTs. And have a blast too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.